One of the most interesting parts of our history is ancient history. People have always been curious to find out how the civilizations that inhabited the earth lived hundreds of years ago. And as we discover more information about our past, the more intrigued we are to discover the mysteries of civilizations that are not mentioned in our history books. In this sense, all those curious about the history of humanity are in luck. Something really surprising has been discovered in an area of South Africa, more specifically about 150 kilometers west of the port of Maputo. The find represents the remains of a large metropolis of around 1,500 square kilometers. And what is more interesting, the researchers believe that the city was built between 160,000 and 200,000 BC as part of an even larger community of approximately 10,000 square kilometers. Although this region is somewhat remote, local farmers had already come across the circular structures that made up the ancient metropolis, however, until now no one has tried to know who made them or how old they were. But all that changed when investigator Michael Tellinger teamed up with local firefighter and pilot Johann Heine to find out more about them. Looking at these incredible structures from above, Michael knew immediately that their importance had been clearly underestimated. When Johann first introduced me to the stone ruins of southern Africa, I never imagined the incredible discoveries we would make in the years to come. The photographs, artifacts and evidence that we have accumulated point to a lost civilization that precedes all others by many thousands of years, explained Michael Tellinger. Tellinger believes that this discovery is so important that it could change the way we view our history completely. Another intriguing fact is that the city is surrounded by several gold mines. Therefore, the researchers suggest that the vanished civilization could have lived here to extract gold. This and other shreds of evidence point to the ancient Anunnaki. According to the writer and pseudoscientist Sitchin, the timeline of the arrival to the land of the Anunnaki would be such that 450,000 BC. Due to the long wars, the atmosphere of Nibiru began to deteriorate and it became an inhospitable place to live. According to the researchers, gold nanoparticles can be used to repair a damaged ozone layer. And this is the reason why the Anunnaki searched for gold to repair their atmosphere. 445,000 BC. The Anunnaki aliens landed on Earth and settled in Eridu to extract gold from the Persian Gulf. Their leader was Enki, son of Anu. 416,000 BC. When gold production declined, Anu came to Earth, accompanied by his other son, Enlil. Anu decided that the mining would take place in Africa and put Enlil in charge of the Terran mission. 400,000 BC. There were seven developed nations in southern Mesopotamia. Some of the most important were, Saipar, Nippur, and, Shurupik. After the metal was refined, it was put into orbit by spacecraft from Africa. The ancient South African city would be made up of stone circles, most of which have been buried in the sand. That is why they can only be seen from an aeroplane or satellite. On the other hand, some remains of walls and foundations have been discovered as a result of climate change. I consider myself to be quite open-minded, but I admit that it took me over a year to figure it out, and I realize that we are actually dealing with the oldest structures ever built on Earth. The most important thing about all this is that until now we have never considered the possibility that any important event could have come from South Africa. We always think that all the most powerful civilizations arose in Sumer, Egypt and other places, explained Tellinger. Tellinger is firmly convinced that this discovery is indisputable proof that the Sumerians and Egyptians inherited all their knowledge from a developed civilization that lived in South Africa more than 200,000 years ago. According to Tellinger, Adam's calendar is the flagship of all the thousands of ancient ruins that were left behind by a vanished advanced civilization. Probably the ancestors of all humans today who have advanced knowledge of energy fields. Some 200,000 years before the Egyptians came to light, these inhabitants carved precise images into the hardest rock and were the first to worship the sun and carve an image of the Egyptian Ankh, the key to life and universal knowledge. Although other theorists and historians do not want to leave traditional thinking behind, this groundbreaking evidence is enough to make us question our knowledge. It can even be a catalyst for rewriting our ancient history. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments below.